We're going to Jody's favorite section first. The barbecue section. What do you see? Spices will probably make me mad. Second ingredient, sugar. On a blackened seasoning. What's that? Commercial grade. Like a warming thing? Oh, it's a smoker. Commercial smoker. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. I haven't either. That's a smoker? That's what it says. Does it take pallets? Uh, don't know. Duck, doe, turkey, elk, and deer. You can't put beef, <laughs> no beef. or chicken. Yes. Hit the mother load. I think I could take a bath in it. That's awesome. It fills a three gallon fryer. Can you imagine a fried turkey and bake it up. Add to cart. So we've always wanted to make beef jerky. We love beef jerky, but it's hard to find ones that don't have crap in it. But I don't have a dehydrator in, so this caught my eye today because it's a pretty good price, $179, and it's really nice. When you open it, there's a lot of trays. The trays are really nice, pretty big. Like, oh, that would be really nice to have. I know that you can make jerky in an oven. I've never tried it. So if you've tried it, comment below and let me know how to do it because I've never done it, but good deal. All right, so we were looking. I have a thing about spice rubs, as you guys know, um, and I saw these hardcore carnivore. I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. And I saw burnt end sauce. I was like, that's excellent because that's usually full of sugar. I'm like, hardcore carnivore, right? So the first ingredient is inverted sugar, whatever the heck that is. The second ingredient is sugar, then tomato paste, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. It's not hardcore carnivore. So then I was like, well, what a chili lime seasoning. Okay, so let's see what that has. Um, I think it's the third or fourth ingredient is brown sugar. So definitely have to read your labels. Just because it says carnivore doesn't mean it actually is carnivore. So I was walking through the camping section and I saw these that kind of caught my eye. You can find things like this in a lot of different places, but this had a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. Not a bad option. I'm not sure how much it is, but they have quite a few different immune and vitamin things here. So in a pinch, if you're traveling and you need something, you could always run into a place like Cabela's and get some electrolytes or vitamin things like this that could help keep you hydrated. What? What do you think is this smoker? Hmm. I mean, you could do eight racks of ribs at once. It's a lot of ribs. Yeah. I just don't like the idea of using the little chips. I feel like it. I guess you could put a smoke tube in there too. Yeah. And there she is. This is next on our list, this trigger. Yes. They sell little blankets that you can put over them to like insulate them so when you use them in the winter, it helps maintain their temperature better. Really? Well, we would definitely need that because <laughs> we'll be cooking all winter. Yeah. Someday, someday. It's for amateurs. There's the baby bacon up. <laughs> they got jerky juice. So, what do you think the first ingredient is? Sugar. No, water. Yeah, it's water. Yeah, but, you know, just about every type of barbecue sauce, you have to have sugar in it. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole point. It's sweet. Even Look at this thing. It's pretty nice. It's all self-contained, I guess. Put all the wood in yeah. there. Oh, it's got a rotisserie, but you have to hand crank Manual it. Manual rotisserie? You have to hire that out. I like that these all 
swing out of the way. It's like those yakitoris. I, so you can use that like the beer can chicken, you know, they, they always show where they have the beer and they sit the chicken on it. I don't think so. But the size of that one. one that's I think we do. We'll have to do some barbecuing on our fire. Yeah. Love cast iron. We actually did a video on how easy it is to clean these once you get a good seasoning on them. I guess that'll be a Black Friday special, huh? Because they have way too many of those. So here's the camp stove. We have one. I don't know if it's Camp Chef, but it's a two burner just like this one. So they work great. We do, um, we used to do canning and stuff on it. <laughs> All the vegetables. All the vegetables. Yeah. It was nice for that because then we weren't heating up the house when we were canning. Yeah. What's this? Oh, that's one of those. Oh, those camp ovens. We almost bought one of these. How much fun would that be? You can fit a 9 by 13 casserole in there. But if we were going to go camping, would we take one of these or <laughs> would we just take like a, sm no. a small barbecue grill, like a charcoal grill? Yeah. A little Weber kettle. Praline honey ham. Injectable marinade. Comes with its own injector. Let's take a look. Water, sugar, corn syrup, molasses, maple flavor, propylene glycol, which those of you don't know, that is the main ingredient in antifreeze, so that's good. That which should, is also in toothpaste. It should be really good, actually. Right? Have hmm. some antifreeze in your in your turkey. Yeah. Some freeze-dried foods. They seem so expensive to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just cheap. Oh, look, you could have an ice cream sandwich. All you have to do is pour water all over it. Oh, you eat it while it's crunchy. Oh. Oh, here's some camping supplies. Let's see, this is like what I need for my purse. I can have my salt, my pepper, and some butter. Oh, that'd be actually be pretty nice. So here's what we could pack. Oh, that is nice. Something like that we could put with our skillet and our burner. Yeah. We should get one of these. See if this screw off lid's any good. That's actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, that opens up nice. Yeah, there's shakers. Oh cool. Let's get one. I love these little things. Little suitcases for your eggs. Yes. You for when you travel. <laughs> so it's only like three dollars online. Yeah. Three dollars and some change. There's some first aid. We should carry first aid with us in case you get burned cooking. <laughs> Me? I'm a professional. Or all the walking you make us do, we could get some mole skin. Actually, you'd be surprised what we have in our car. We're always prepared. 